Okay, so let's go back to that initial situation where we have our extracellular fluid and we have a cell inside. And the concentration of solutes is the same inside and outside. So now let's ask what happens when we drink a bottle of water. So we're going to drink a whole bottle of water. And the first question is, what does that go into initially when you drink a bottle of water? Does it go into the extracellular compartment or the intracellular compartment? So it turns out that actually the fluid goes into your intestine and your intestine is lined by cells like this. These are epithelial cells. And the fluid goes into here and then when it's absorbed, it actually gets absorbed across the cells. So it goes into this space here, which is extracellular. So that means we should add this water to the extracellular part. So let's do that. So now the water level has risen from here all the way up to here. And we still have our cell floating around in there. And we still have our solutes, which have not gone from one compartment to the other because they can't. They can't go through the membrane. And so now what you'll notice is we added water to the extracellular part here, and there's still the same number of solutes, so the concentration of solutes in the extracellular part went down. And so now suddenly the inside of the cell has a higher concentration, and therefore it's going to drag in some fluid by osmosis and increase in size. And so what's this picture going to look like? Let's move this intestine out of the way so we can see. So now. fluid is going to shift from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell and so the cell is going to get bigger until the concentration of, of solutes inside the cell is equal to the concentration of solutes outside the cell. So this here is the equilibrium state that's been achieved after we added some water to this situation. And the net result is that both the extracellular and the intracellular compartments gained volume. They both got some of this water. So if you add pure water, the result is an increase in the extracellular volume and an increase in the intracellular volume. And this is just a toy example. So if you're wondering how this works in a real human, well, actually fluid will shift into every cell in the body, a little bit of fluid into each and every single cell. And it'll shift around like that until the concentration of solutes has equalized between all the cells and all the extracellular fluid. And so the other thing you'll notice that's different about here and here is that here we have now a lower concentration of the solutes inside and outside. So we can say decreased extracellular concentration and decreased intracellular concentration.